guys. Today we're going to make brownie cookies and if you've already watched the first video, um, you'll know who I am and my mum is. Um, if you haven't watched this video, by the way, I'm Ella and this is my mum, Jen. Hi, you'll see me in a sec. Well... What did we want to say about their rocky roads that they made last week? Thank you for making our rocky road and thank you all of our friends that watched our video and if you don't know me and Jen then that's fine. Yep, it's fine if you're just watching for the first time. And we loved seeing all your pictures that you sent in. And we were super excited to see that you were enjoying it. They look so good. They did. <laughs> so today, like Ella said, we're making brownie cookies. And we're just going to give you a little glimpse of the ingredients that we've got to start with. And um, before we started the witty video it was so close because my sister was about to wake up we thought she was waking up she made some murmuring on the monitor <laughs> and then we were like oh no not again but then she's gone back to sleep for now hasn't she <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> okay so over here we've got icing sugar and we've got we've got 170 grams of that and this and the whisk there is the cocoa powder 35 grams of that <laughs> And that is an eighth of a teaspoon of table and salt. And we've got cream eggs. Yes, we're going to use cream eggs to decorate the top of our cookies. But like I said in my recipe that I put out, you can use whatever you want. Uh, if you want to use nuts, you can use walnuts or pecans or chocolate chunks. Or like you can just copy us. Yeah. You can do cream eggs it's too. Fine. We couldn't find mini cream eggs. That would have been best. But apparently there's none in all the land where we live. So we're mm -hmm. using giant ones and we're chopping them up. Mm -hmm. This is our chocolate that's going to go inside of our cookies. It's 95 grams that I just chopped up. Chocolate chunks, milk and white. And we need half a cup of teaspoon. And we need... Those are the egg whites there in the glass. And in the little green dish is some vegetable oil. And yes, that's the vanilla that we're going to add in. So we'll begin by putting our dry ingredients into the mixing bowl. So if you just get, grab the whole bowl, Hello Bella. Okay. And tip it in. Watch out for the icing sugar coughs, which come when icing sugar goes all over your kitchen. And you might have guessed, but the reason I thought this was a good recipe to pick for this week was because apparently a lot of you still can't get flour. So flourless cookies seemed like a good idea. Plus, there's really not that many ingredients that you need for this. Um, I thought maybe some of you might have these ingredients in your cupboard already or it wasn't too much to buy um, if you wanted to whip up some cookies. All right, good job. If you pop the cocoa powder in next. Yep. Well done. You might need to give it a little scrape out with the spoon or have you got it all out? I haven't got it all out yet. You see, it makes a lot of noise there. <laughs> it does. And next, we're going to put in the salt. Yes. That does not come out. Oh, it doesn't it come shake. out very well. So, if you have these, then don't use them because <laughs> it doesn't come out very well. Noted. Okay, grab the whisk. And then you're just going to mix it all together. It's like... So if you don't have an electric mixer, you can do it by hand, the old-fashioned way, in a bowl. That's fine too. But since we've got a KitchenAid, we're going to use that just for easiness. So once it's all expertly mixed together. Thank you, Alabella. Because brown and white equals 
light brown. It does. <laughs> then we're going to start adding the wet ingredients. So we're going to add the egg whites first in that glass. Good job. What's egg whites? You know, we break the egg in half and there's the yellow bit and the clear bit. So the egg whites is just the clear bit. Don't freak out too much if you don't break yours exactly evenly. Um, you might have seen ours were a bit cloudy because I wasn't too successful at separating out the yellow, but it's not a big deal. We're not making meringues. All right, grab the oil in that green bit there. Uh, now you have to pour Tip in that there. In. The egg's a bit dry in there. Yeah, it's fine. It's just soaking into it. That's all right. Right, so the oil's gone in. I'm just gonna set this up here. And the next thing is the vanilla. So if you hold the teaspoon over there. Okay. Two teaspoons of vanilla. This is our giant vanilla that we get at Costco because we use so much of it. Yes. Oh, I didn't do that very well, did I? Ow! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shake it in. And one more. Okay. That was a bit too much because you poured some in there. It's alright. You can never have too much vanilla. That's what makes it taste sweet and delicious. So that's yeah. all good. So we've added that in and now we're going to take it over to the mixer and start mixing. So we're going to start mixing it. Carry it over here, and then I'll grab the camera so you guys can see. So, for our mixer, all we have to do is do it to like that, then put it to number one. That's it. So, you just want to start off on low. Yeah, so number one. It's all There's a lot of icing sugar dust coming off of that. Getting on my tongue. <laughs> Having a little taste of what it's going to be like. And there you can see it's all starting to come together now. It's all very like black, but it's very dark brown. Well, and what, it look, what it's looking like right now is like brownie mixture, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop it for a second and I'm just going to scrape down the sides with the spatula just to make sure. Can you hold the camera for a sec, Debbie? Make sure you get all of it off this bit. And as well, if you've got icing sugar on the side, just try to brush it off or if you want to dip your finger in it and then you can just have a taste <laughs> all right so and the most exciting part is licking the spatula it is but, but we have to do that later that's right okay i'll pop it down i'm gonna give it one last mix on a bit of a higher speed and then once that's all come together, we're going to use this. We're going to add the chocolate, remember? Yeah. Do I have to use this? Yeah, we'll use that to scoop it onto the tray. Okay. Yeah. So can you scrape all the chocolate in? Yes. Go for it. Okay. Making sure it doesn't fall out. If you've got the chocolate near the edges, just try to be very careful when you're pushing it. That's right. Okay, you want to pop the mixer down? We'll mix and make that sure you don't spill some chocolate on the counter because it might still be dirty. But make sure before you're going to watch it, clean your counter. That's right. Okay, you hold that for a sec. In fact, we're going to do our final stir just with our spatula. Stir this chocolate in here. Can I stir it? Sure. You hold the camera. And if you want you to, you can just like smush it in. And then you can start mixing once it's all in there. So once you've mixed it all around, then 
one of the important parts of the recipe is that we're letting it rest for 15 minutes. So we're yeah. just going to leave it in the bowl, put a timer on for 15 minutes. And during that 15 minutes, it, the dough is just going to thicken a little bit so that it's thick enough to be scooped and put yeah, and this, into cookies. This is the brownie part. Yes, that's right. And then we're going to make the cookies. So if you want to, um, you can turn off the laptop and watch the rest later if you want to. Well, we're going to turn off now and then we'll be back in just a second once we've rested the dough. And so while we're resting, we're going to just go and chop our cream eggs now so that they're ready yeah. for when we're going to bake. See you in a second. And and um, it's very hard to mix, so grown-ups, um, um, you can help your kids, but I'm... Um, I'm a big girl, so I can, like, mix it. Good job. The most important thing, if grown-ups want you to, um, if you've got one of these at home in the mixer, just take it off. And if grown-ups want you to put this bit if you're done, um, kids can just lick it. Yes. I've been licking it right now. As if we couldn't tell from your face. Yeah. And we also came back on just quickly to tell you to preheat your oven at this point. So I've turned the oven on to 180 degrees for the 15 minutes while the dough is resting. Um, the oven will be getting warm so that once your dough is rested, it's ready to put the cookies in. All right, see you in a sec. Yep, bye. <laughs> okay, we're back. And as usual, <laughs> we're joined by Addison, who woke up from her naps. And if you don't know her, that's okay. But she does have really curly hair. <laughs> she does. Yeah. All right, Addie, are you going to stand up? Can you say hi, people? Hi, people. <laughs> say All right, hi, stand friends. up so everyone can see you. Chubby. Oh, she wants her socks off. Okay, and, Let's take your socks um, off. And I'm just going to give you a quick little update on what's been happening while we've been away. We came back to our rested dirt cookie batter to find that actually it was really runny still and I didn't think that the cookies were going to hold. So what I did was I poured it into an 8 by 8 pan, like what we made the Rocky Road with. Yes. And baked that for 10 minutes and it's still going to be delicious, it's just not cookie shapes. Yeah. But I looked on the recipe, because it was a recipe from a blog that we were following, it shows us that we should have really tested it first, and I did plan to, but I ran out of time. And when I looked in the comments, it turned out a lot of people had runny batter that didn't go into good cookies. And what they said was, the author of the recipe said it was best to leave out the oil. Because uh, obviously that was extra liquid. So what we did is we whipped up another quick batch and we just left the oil out. Yeah. And we baked those to test if they worked. And they did work and they did stay together as cookies. So we're going to show you just now putting the cookie dough onto the tray. And they stay in the recipe to use a cookie scoop, which is what I did. But I'll show you in a second the cookies I did with the cookie scoop and they were pretty giant. So we're just going to use a spoon for this, and Ella's going to spoon it onto the tray while I film, and yeah. then, yeah. So, um, yeah. just I'll make a note at the start of the video to tell you to leave the vegetable oil out, okay? Let me grab this, okay. Oh no, no, we can't do it like that, darling. You just, okay, hang on. Why don't you hold it and mommy will show you how to do the first one. Okay, so I'll hold it. No, the camera, darling. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I forgot to tell you that any babies that are watching, Addison, can you say hi, babies? Hi, baby. Good girl. She loves babies, and doesn't she? But darling, remember you're meant to be showing this so that people can see. And anyone that's... Um, that knows Addison, you can say hi back in the message. Okay. Hey. So the cookies will hi, spread quite a lot. Baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> say hi to, hi to the babies in the camera. Hi, baby. Say hi, Archie, if Archie's watching. To, to, um, 
tea. All right, so I'm just showing you that there's a tablespoon that I'm using to do the cookies like that. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have a go at doing the yeah, third one? I'm going to have a go. Okay. So, so I'm just putting three on a sheet for now okay. just because, yeah, that's right, Addy, that's where it's going to go. Let's pop it there just because, like I said, they do spread quite a bit. I've got these silicon cookie trays just because um, it's what I always use. If you don't have those, that's fine. Uh -huh. You can use tin foil. And if one's like mine, then just get a little bit more, scrape it off. Right, darling, don't scrape it off because you're scraping all of the mix into the bowl, and that's what you need. Right. Okay. Right, Addy, do you want to have some? Do you want to lick the spoon after? Because it looks spatula. Right, you hold that for me, darling. Addy. The camera. Okay. Just hold it there so that people can see. And Addy, look, there's a baby one. There's a baby one. Baby okay. roll. Dad roll. So we've got the oven Mommy on at 180. Roll. And we're Mommy just going to bake these now for 10 minutes. Roll. Yeah. And then as soon as they... Actually, I'm going to try this for 8 minutes just because they're a little bit smaller than the last cookies. So eight minutes, and chubby, then as soon as they come out, chubby, we're gonna pop the cream egg chunks on top. Chubby, yeah. So I'm gonna just chubby. stop Not it there for now. Bit. Some teamwork here, licking the bowl. How does it taste, Daddy? Is it good? <laughs> and you hold the spoon. I'm gonna lick the bowl. No, not like that. You're not. <laughs> All right, everyone's had some licks. We're just waiting for the cookies to bake. Okay, we're back. The cookies have just come out the oven. Eight minutes was good for the smaller size ones. And Ella is just popping our cream egg chunks on now. There we go. You can put them face down if you want, but I'm just putting them face up. Yeah, let's show them a face down one because then they stick together a bit better. Yeah. And the chunks are just going to melt in. And once they've cooled on the pans for about 10 minutes, we're going to transfer them to a cooling rack and then have a taste. These cookies, and we're going to go and try them now. And I know they're going to taste delicious. Bye. Bye. Bye.